We have started the morning with some of the smallest spots around. We are looking at a beautiful spotted hyena just on its den side. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? It's very, very small. My name is Ali and on camera with me today I have got Sam. And if you've got any comments or any questions, please feel free to send them through using the hashtag Yusuf. But it seems like little Lintima has not gone anywhere and perhaps very, very tired already. Look at that beautiful, cute face. Even the its paws are all tucked in. Safari Live, because we love hearing from all of you. Now, heading back onto a little hyena, we decided to come and have a look around here, because we haven't been around to the hyena den in the last few days, because they seem to be a bit aloof. <laughs> and just having a bit of a sleep, aren't you? Now, there were no signs of uh, the smaller cub around. Last time I came here about maybe four days ago or so, it went straight onto the hole. And it was, uh, and but it ran very quickly, and I don't think anyone's seen it since then. It could be around, but we don't know for certain. Uh, hello. Very beautiful, very sharp ears, and as it gets older, those ears are gonna get slightly tattered, <laughs> which is very typical for all the animals that live out here in the bush. The ears are a good way of aging them. And you see, there's something in the air sniffing something. I wonder what you can smell. Their sense of smell for all hyenas and hearing is very very good so I'm sure you can either pick up the scent of another animal around here, perhaps some more hyenas. Whatever it is, it was obviously quite interesting. And we do, there is a little bit of a faint like rotten smell out in in the air today. It's quite faint but I wonder if that is what it was um, smelling. Maybe it's just faint to us, but the little cub here knows exactly what it is. Now, it's not common to have that smell around dens, because the mothers don't normally bring big pieces of meat to the den. Every now and again they'll bring a leg or a few bones for the youngsters to eat, but it's not the most common of occurrences. A bit unrelaxed. Now, when it put its head up, I don't know if you guys noticed that it was dark on the bottom and it's quite light on top of the head it's just because it's changing its color so as hyenas or when hyenas are born rather let me start from the beginning they are entirely dark they look like a small little teddy bear and as they start growing older then they start becoming lighter in color like the top of its head and they almost become a bit gingerly in color but that's gonna happen within the next few months that the spots are also gonna become more and more obvious so you see, even for a little cub, very alert, the ears keep moving in all directions, it can scent different things, so very well aware of everything that's around it, because often the mothers will leave the cubs here in the den, and they're going to have to rely on instinct to be able to know when to hide, what to do, just in case they get surprised by any potential predator. Now there's definitely something around here that it can smell or hear every now and again. But I don't think it's of too much importance because <laughs> it's gone back to sleep. Or it almost wants to look at those tired eyes. So cute. <laughs> it's been a long night. <laughs> I think it's very tired. So for once, hyenas weren't too noisy last night. Daniel, you say he looks bored. Well, I think more than bored, it's actually quite sleepy. This is a very young hyena and it's very early in the morning. So I think maybe it's been up and moving and playing and doing different things and now it's just gone back to, to sleep. Look at that. Now, if it had other companions to play around, or perhaps even bully in the case of a hyena and bite around, might be a bit more interested. Kylie, you're wondering how old this cub is? Well, it's, I would say, about four or five months old, if I'm not mistaken, because it's already starting to turn white, and they normally start turning white when they are about three-ish months old. So it's still a very young hyena and it's got a lot to grow. <laughs> it's going to be probably about three, four times the size of what it currently is now. Such a pretty face. <laughs> I'm 
Shame it's properly asleep. Now there to the left as you can see that's the main entrance to the den and there's another one just on the other side of the of this termite mound that the hyenas have been using to come in and out. So often at big den sites like this one they will have more than one chamber, more than one entrance just so if the little ones need to start running around then they start moving in and out.